yep, I did get a zero for my Python assignment last semester at Yo People. I felt ashamed, but I did learn from it, and I really hope that while sharing this video, you could learn from my mistake too. Nearly three months ago, I posted the very first video of my study experience at Yo People. I was really excited because I enjoy studying at Yo People really much, and I just wanted to share that vibe with people. And I actually got quite a lot of positive comments from people that made me really happy. So in the same day, the same happy day when I posted the video, I received the email from the professor in charge of programming fundamental course saying that he was giving me a zero for my assignment and reporting this to the university because of my blazerism fault. So the story is all about blazerism. You know when I read the email, I wish shaking literally because i was in shock i never get any zero ever in my whole life study experience even i didn't take my study that serious before but i just don't understand why now when i've been working starting really hard and i was even eager to get a four for my gpa because i've done pretty well with my whole term performance then that zero just ruined everything so here's the assignment requirement and here's my answer. After receiving Blazerism report, I did think strictly about claiming because I thought the answer was mine. That was my idea. How come there's anybody else having the exact same answer, same idea, same letter number like mine? That's just ridiculous. Then when I checked the code again, I suddenly remember I did learn something from the internet before, but I thought that was not a big deal. The main idea of the answer was still mine. But I guess nothing else except for that not a big deal actually got me a zero. Um, I can't record what I used from the internet for my assignment anymore. Could be this one or this one. I just can't remember. The thing I'm trying to say here is that whatever you get from any other sources, which is not something you create by yourself, you must cite it. If I got this from the internet, I didn't give it a credit. Uh, even if it was big or small, it was still my fault. I have to admit that it, it was my fault and I made a mistake. So what's gonna happen when you are reported blazerism? According to your people catalog on the page 138, first reported violation student is issued a zero on the assignment, receive uh, an email notification reporting that blazerism and a note is added to the permanent record, Second reported violation, student is issued a zero on the assignment, receive an email notification of reporting their blazerism, and may receive a failing grade in the course. Third report violation, student is issued a failing grade in the course, receive an email notification reporting their blazerism. And that's a big deal now. Fourth reported violation will be treated as a severe violation in accordance with the UO people catalog. Now you can see how serious it could be when you make the blazerism mistake at your people. It was even emphasized by the university president uh, in his opening speech here. We are here for you. We want you to succeed. I want to share another piece of advice uh, for you this year. I often regretfully too often receive heartbreaking emails from students asking for a second chance after plagiarism it's heartbreaking emails people who say i didn't know i didn't plagiarize i didn't mean i didn't understand what it is it doesn't work you all took a univ 101 you know what plagiarism is. We taught you what it is. You don't know? Go to the catalog and read. Ask your program advisor. Ask your, ask your peers. Make sure that you know what it is because we have zero tolerance for, for plagiarism. This is our quality. This is what makes us a good university. This is why our graduate find places in, in good companies, and this is why the academic world respects us. Zero tolerance for plagiarism. It is important 
for us, but it is important for you and for your peers. Avoid plagiarism by any cost, because as I said, you will find yourself out of the university. And we use and we use software to detect plagiarism because, as I said, it is so important. This is how we maintain our quality. We can't compromise there. We will not compromise there. I can't I can't emphasize it more. Make sure that you are not plagiarized because otherwise, you know, everything that you invested is is gone. We prepare you for a career, and this is part of, you know, I mentioned it when I talk about why uh, why making sure that nobody plagiarizes is so important. We prepare you for your, for your career. Our graduates work at some of the best companies in the world. We work, we have employees that work with Apple, Amazon, IBM, World Bank, Google, uh, Microsoft, uh, we have 15% of our graduate continue to graduate school. We have extremely, uh, we are extremely proud of our graduate and how well they are doing. We are preparing you to do just this. So do not throw this opportunity by, by plagiarizing. At my first reported plagiarism, it was almost ruining my whole term effort and my dream of getting Fun 4 for my GPA you can see it from my past grading um <laughs> i got really bad score at the beginning of the term because it was the time i first learned coding i had no idea about the professor's question the hello world concept or literally nothing but then i was improving things were getting better wow i can't believe that i got so many tens and boom just only one zero, only one zero, destroy everything, all the hard work I've done. If it's not because of other tens and my full 100 over 100 score for final exam, I think I hardly could save my GPA, my qualified GPA honestly, so I was still in Dean's list with 3.5 luckily. I found my name. Here she is. In the score range from 3.5 to 3.84. After all the things happened, there are a few things I learned which I think you should pay attention to. First, whatever you don't know from your common knowledge, you use that for your assignment, you must cite it. Whatever you cite, the source must appear in the reference. Your citation and reference need to follow APA style. APA is the writing style and format for the academic document. It is commonly used for citing the sources. If you don't know about APA style, no worries. When joining your people, you will be enrolling one of the subjects called um, online education strategies. And there, you will be taught the standard way to cite and reference with APA style. Um, I will put some basic APA here for you to easily follow. For whom already study citation in OES course, just don't neglect that. Just don't neglect that because you might make the same mistake like me. Even I got four for that course, I can't believe that I still feel badly in this actual situation. The second thing you gotta remember, double check your work to know whether it's plagiarized. I don't know whether you've heard about UniCheck. It is a cloud-based plagiarism detection tool. Your people does partner with UniCheck on zero tolerance for plagiarism policy. That's why your people recommend students to use UniCheck for checking plagiarism. I tried that once, but I remember there was limited number for the word checking. I, I feel that's kind of inconvenient when you have a pages and pages uh, of the assignment you can just copy and paste uh, different small paragraphs into it it just take a lot of time and effort and I also know there are quite a lot of different options out there but I haven't tried anything rather than uni check if you know any good ones just let me know in the comment down below I would appreciate that yeah so I think today's video should end here I just want to let you know that I was really upset when I got that zero but it was a while ago, I learned from it, and I moved on. <laughs> I hope that I won't make the same mistake again, and you too. Good luck. Bye-bye.